Hi, I'm your instructor Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to create a free web hosting account and then upload your website to that account using FTP. The first thing that we need to do is to set up a free hosting account. I'm going to use X10 Hosting at x10hosting.com. There are many other free website hosting services, but this one works pretty well and doesn't have any ads. If you don't already have an account, click on the Get Started link. You can enter in anything you want for your domain name as long as it doesn't have spaces and certain other restricted characters. Click Continue. Then you'll be asked for a username and password and to agree to the terms of service. Since I've already signed up, I'm going to skip this step and just go to the Sign In link. When you sign in, you'll be taken to a page that shows your username and domain. Click on cPanel and you'll see the My Website screen. You can click on Add Website, then on this screen, leave Custom Website selected. Then give your website a name. Leave the domain set as it is and leave address path blank. Then click Add Website. Your new website is created, and when you open that up, you'll see that it's just an empty directory with a folder called CGI bin. This is your document root. This is where all the files for your website will go. The CGI bin is a folder where you can keep scripts that do things on your website. Now go back to X10 Hosting and click on Continue to My Websites. The thing we want to do first is to create an FTP user. Click on FTP Users. Then click Add FTP User. Now enter in whatever you want into the account name. I'll use Chris Minnick. Choose an account password and then confirm that password. Now click Add FTP Account. Your new FTP account has been created. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's the way that we upload files to a website so that it can be seen by people on the internet. In order to use FTP, you need to have an FTP client. An FTP client is a program that lets you use FTP to upload files. The FTP client that I like to use is called FileZilla. You can search for that in Google, or you can just go to filezilla-project.org. On this page, click on Download FileZilla Client. Don't worry about the server. I happen to be using a Mac, but FileZilla works the same on Mac and on Windows. Click on Download Now. In a moment, the file will begin downloading. When it finishes downloading, open up the file that was downloaded and click on it to start the installation. The installer will ask you if you want to install a couple different things. Skip over these. When it's installed, FileZilla will launch. You'll see that the interface has two halves. The local files are on the left. These are the files that are on your computer. On the right is the remote side. This is your server. You'll see that I'm not currently connected to a server. Next, go back to X10 Hosting and we'll need to find out what your connection information is for your server. So if you still have the FTP Users window open, you can click on Connection Guide, and then you'll see your FTP information. The first thing you need is the server host name. So highlight this and copy it. Now return to FileZilla and click on the Site Manager icon to open the Site Manager. Click on New Site, and then give your new site a name. Paste the host name into the host field, and then change the login type to Normal. Now return to X10 Hosting and copy your account username. Paste that into the Username field in FileZilla, and enter your password into the Password field. 
You may see a message asking you to verify the certificate. You can do this by clicking Always Trust Certificate in Future Sessions and click OK. Now you'll see the root directory of your website containing the CGI bin and another file starting with a period. Whenever a file name starts with a period, that means it's a hidden file that you won't normally see when you're browsing the site. Next, I'm going to create a file that I'll upload to the site. So I'll go into Sublime Text and I'll make a new file with a basic HTML template. Save this file with the extension .html. I'm just going to save it to my computer's desktop for now. The first file for a website should be named index.html. That will make it the default document so that instead of showing the directory listing which you saw earlier when you browse to the site, it will display the contents of this page when someone goes to your website without specifying a file name after the domain name. After you save the file, go back to FileZilla. Next you'll need to find your local file on the left. Since I'm using a Mac, I'll go to Users, then my username, and then Desktop. And here's the file. To upload your files to the server, you can right-click on it and select Upload. Now you'll see that the index.html file is on the right side. If you go back to your web browser and visit your website, you'll see that your new web page displays instead of the directory listing. And that's all there is to it. Today I showed you how to set up a free website hosting account with X10 Hosting, how to download and configure FileZilla, and then how to upload a file to your host using FTP. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to get notified about future videos.